welcome back guys it was some time since I have updated the video and I'm sorry for that but I have not had the time to do any proper videos so today I'm releasing this update video instead to show you guys a little bit of what's going on first of all as you can see my bench is filled up with stuff I have so much ongoing currently and for instance we have one of the project here we have this Raspberry Pi and a 7 inch LCD screen that 7 inch LCD screen I have printed a case for and for those that haven't seen it already I got my 3D printer just not long ago and it has been running almost non-stop since then I'm currently printing out quick prototype for the back of this case the back of this case in question is printed at 0.4 mm so it's not very nice I have a video ongoing about that as well regarding the 3D printer and everything. And if we go out to the garage a little bit further, you can see that my system is currently somewhat picked apart. And the reason is here. As you can see, the inverter is on the table without one of the main boards. The main board is actually over here and for some reason the main MOSFETs burned out. I'm waiting for spare parts for this inverter and as soon as they arrive I will actually make a video about why it happened I hope at least and how I sorted it. A long ongoing session I still have the batteries on the shelf here um, I'm currently working on and designing and printing a holder for the long mons that will be attached to them and that's what's being done with this 3D printer and of course there is one problem with this 3D printer as well and that is I cannot run it from the SD card it's pending with the seller and they have some idea that the SD card reader is broken but I don't think that's the problem I think it's something else so upcoming video about that as well um, I have printed several Raspberry Pi cases because I have several of them um, so that's going in a different section as well and I don't have everything here that I have printed but camera stands and tons of stuff but currently this one is what's interesting uh, I don't have the screen protection cover here still but I think this will be rather cool and as soon as I got the design laid out properly I will reprint this in a higher resolution currently I have printed this with 0.4 and it's really really rough you can even see through it where I actually have put down a little bit thinner layer just to quicken the print up and this is somewhere around 0.6 millimeter so let's see about that. Um, this touch screen here is a very very simple one, 7 inch, HDMI and USB and it works with Raspberry Pi. I have links for that down below if you are interested in this screen. So basically guys that's the reason why I have not done many videos. I have been so busy with Christmas and everything that have been ongoing and if I haven't said it before I ha wish you all a Merry Christmas. Uh, the Christmas is somewhat over here, but we soon have the New Year's Eve. Within a day or a couple of days there will be coming out a couple of new videos, but I need to have time to edit them as well. So once again guys, thanks for watching and I see you next time. Bye.